Hello, good day, everyone. I hope everything is going well with you. And I welcome you back to our subject, Purposive Communication, Using English in Multilingual Context. And I hope that you are in a comfortable seat wherever you are watching this pre-recorded video. And now let's proceed with our next discussion for today. It's all about the lesson five, the debate. Okay. So let's start first with our learning outcomes in lesson five. First is to uh, discuss the importance of debate in everyday life. Now they debate in everyday life. Next, identify and exhibit the different skills involved in being a good debater and recognize the different types of debate and their structures. Okay, let's start. What is debate? What's that in debate? It is a formal discussion on a particular topic in a public meeting or legislative assembly in which opposing arguments are put forward. Uh, debate can ar argue about a subject, especially in a formal manner. So, natay, natay mga uh, pro and mga opposition. And also, in a debate, uh, opposing arguments are... Uh, put forward to argue for opposing viewpoints. And debate also occurs uh, occurs in public meetings, academic, academic institutions, and of course, in legislative assemblies. And these are the types of debate. The formal debates are held in formal setting, such as in school, in the House of Representative and in the Senate. So debaters come prepared, equipped with the knowledge they need to be able to reason out effectively. And a topic is debated upon the debaters listen to the arguments raised by the other debaters from which they build their arguments and argue their position. And we have also the informal debates. On the other hand, do not follow strictly a structure. While there are also two sides, the affirmative and the negative. So it takes place anywhere and does not have to involve two teams. So for informal debates, kana mag debate mo si muhang igsuon, anong buwan ng inyong sudan, kana lang. Wala mo nag-follow structure. And it may take place between two or more people arguing for or against a certain issue. An example would be two friends uh, deciding where to eat their lunch for that day. That's an example of informal debates. Na. <laughs> Next, what are the skills needed in debate? So you need all the language macro skills to be an effective debater. So what are the, these? The reading, speaking, writing, and listening. So let's start with the reading. So for you to become a successful debater, you should be a wide reader. According to Francis Bacon, one said, <coughs> reading make it a full man and writing an exact man. So it means that many says that through reading, you can visit places, experience other cultures and learn new things by reading. Next, speaking. Your being voracious reader or verbose or a bookworm will certainly manifest itself in the same way you speak. Okay? And I'm speaking. Dapat na speaking skill. Okay, kung wa speaking skill, dili ka baon. Ay, nalag appeal of debate, please. Maluoy kasi mong kagrupo. <laughs> Next, writing. It is in the writing skills where the making a full man is achieved. Reading and writing are skills that go together. So if you are a passionate reader, um, wait for a while. Again, if you are a passionate reader, Mag-increase jud, mag jud na ang imuhang vocabulary significantly. If passionate reader, puka. 
Okay? <laughs> then after that, you are able to express through writing kung unsa jud ang imuhang nahibal-an or na understand or imuhang stand about that topic. Okay? Next is the listening. So listening means paying attention not only to the story but how it is told. The use of language and voice and how the other person uses his or her body. In other words, it means being aware of both verbal and nonverbal messages. Uh, for me lang ha, listening is a dakuyo siya o percentage for me. Kaya, saan sa mong isulat? Saan sa mong istorya? Saan sa mong i- uh, i- read? Kung you don't have the skills of listening. Pero for me, kung ako i-compare ka ng listening is the toughest skills needed in debate. Kaya dyan yung mga may bawaan kung naminaw dyan ka, kabalo, kabalo, kung kabalo ka maminaw, kabalo ka kung sa yung istorya is sulat or imuhang basahon. Ano na siya kasimple. Next, we have also the ethical considerations in debate. So according to Freely and Steinberg, year 2004 in their book, Argumentation and Debate, critical thinking for recent decision-making. So they define ethics as a set of contracts con constructs that guide our decision-making by providing standards of behavior, telling us how we ought to act. It is your behavior kung na sa actual debate. And ethics may be thought of as a complex foundation of morally-based rules as might be adhered to within a culture of group. And ethics maybe provide uh, specific guidelines for um, individuals or groups engaged in similar activities or with occupational constraint. And also ethics may characterize the way people think of themselves and the self-applied measures for right behavior based in personality or experience with guide them to virtuous or appropriate behavior. So, managing na nga ethics may contract a general or universal set of values, guiding a, a broader understanding about the human condition, born of philosophical commitment, contracts, and your motives. So, we have also here on board the dress and appearance of the debaters. You should be mindful of how you look in a formal debate, okay? Dilini pageant ha? Your appearance is just as, as important as the paralinguistic use in nonverbal behavior. If you are a female speaker or debater, wear a business attire that will make you look respectable. Do not wear colors that are ostentatiously attractive. Kanang mga pang uh, traffic enforcer ng mga colors. Very high heeled shoes and flat shoes should be avoided. Kagapajent dini ah, dili ka sales lady or whatever it is. Instead, wear heels that are manageable. For example, one and a half to two inches. That's enough. And makeup and jewelry should be worn conservatively. Light, light lang jud. And for males, you also need to wear business attire, avoiding loud colors. Should you wear uh, a coat and tie? Do not wear a tie that comes in flashy or glaring colors. Kabalupog ka. Mubagay-bagay si mga You should be able to match your inner clothes with your outer clothes. And do not wear large ornaments. Kana mga mga kulintas ng mga dagko. San man ni Oy. Wala ka nag kwande ni ha. Wala ka nag Wrap. <laughs> and your nails should be cut. Um, hair will come and she's neatly flush. Wala na siya sila ang mga dress and appearance na dapat ninyo i-apply if you wish to become a debater. Okay? And that's the end of our discussion in Unit 4, Lesson 5. Thank you so much for your uh, listening. And I hope you learned something for our discussion today. If not, please rewatch this pre recorded video. Again, thank you so much and see you next time. Bye bye.